When you launch Creator, you can choose to keep working on your existing projects or just create a new one. You can open any WPK file, which is the format used in Wonder Painter Creator. On the top bar, you have all the basic functions. On the upper left side, you have the storyboard, where you can find all your scenes and prompts by playing order. You can add any of these to the sequence and reorder by dragging them. Think of a scene as a chapter. In Wonder Painter, some characters can be replaced by user-generated content, or UGC, such as a drawing. For leaving instructions for the user about what to draw, you use a prompt. A character set as a prompt will appear as a green transparent overlay, and the default character can replace the UGC in the next scene. The bottom left of the sidebar contains the character library, where all the characters, props and actions can be found. Now let's look at the characters and their handle points. In all Wonder Painter animations, a character can be rigged with one or more handle points. By moving those points, we can make the character perform any intended movements. The timeline is located at the bottom. There are 30 frames per second on the animation. All we need to do is to add keyframes for each character. All the intermediate frames are generated automatically. The main area is our stage. The area within the red frame shows you the screen boundaries. You can change the aspect ratio in the top toolbar. You can also zoom in and out using the plus and minus keys.